Hey friend, it's Justine. Today I'm going to make an ornament keepsake card with the beautiful glimmer of the month from Spellbinders. Just look at how pretty that is. I use the gold matte foil. There it is. You can see a close look. It has a matte finish and it's super pretty in gold. There's the main bouquet die, the main bouquet glimmer plate, and then three sentiment bo three sentiment glimmer plates. There's joy for you and warm wishes. And then there's also a bow glimmer plate and a die piece that will cut out the bow and then a circle to cut out the sentiments. This is called the bouquet of joy. So I went ahead and paired the, the notched corner die with this card. So we're going to go ahead and start from the back forward. So this is the main piece and then I have this just plain white paper that's now going to go on the back. This is where the person who is sending the card slash ornament is going to write the sentiment, their own sentiment, if you will. And now on the front side, perfect, I just did that backwards, but you know what, we're just gonna go along with it and call it fine and dandy. So now what we have as the front, which was supposed to be the back, but now it's the front, whatever, is going to go and get a mirror cardstock piece. This is embossed with the regular embossing folder of the month. This is the Christmas tile. Isn't it pretty? And I'll just layer that right on. Most of this will get covered up, but it is providing a lot of texture and dimension, so that's all right. And then my main glimmer piece right here is going to be the star of the show, if you will. Isn't that really pretty? I just love glimmering. It's one of my favorite crafty things. I love glimmering and better pressing, wax sealing. I kind of love everything, but that's okay with me. <laughs> Okay, and then my sentiment for this one, I chose Christmas Blessings. This was a glimmered sentiment from Yana's collection from this summer. I love this sentiment. I think it's super pretty, and I love the simplicity of the font choice here. Just gorgeous. And that's going to go on the bottom of my little bouquet. Oh, that is so pretty. I just love it. Okay, now for the ornament piece of it all. I took out both of my hole punches because I wanted to show you the difference. So I have a regular hole punch here that punches out a regular size hole and then I have a little one. So you can kind of see the size difference between the little and the big one. And I was kind of going back and forth about which one to use. And I think I am going to use the little one, even though it will be a little more complicated to get my thread, this twine through, but I think it will give a more elegant look. So here we go. I'm going to punch a hole through the back piece and the gold piece. Try to get it in the center-ish, like so. Then I'll stick the thread through the hole. There we go, it's not unraveling, so that's a good sign. And then I'm just gonna make a regular knot. And then I will knot the end so it doesn't unravel too much. If you don't wanna knot, another trick is to use liquid glue and put the liquid glue on the end of the twine and it won't unravel as well. And then I'll just give the ends a snip these giant shears they are my favorite shears they're so good and they're non-stick okay there we have it my little bow and then just to add a little extra oomph and excitement to the card I'm going to put two of these bows on the back because the front has a lot going on already but I'm going to offset the bows so it looks like there's two different colors going on First, I'm going to do the matte gold. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Okay. Right under the hole. And then I'm going to do the red one. And you can kind of see there it has a pattern on it. And that is from the Christmas Glimmer Bundle. And 
and I'm gonna just kind of turn it a little so you can still see the gold behind the red. And bows are kind of playful anyway, so it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. There we have it, pretty back and a pretty front. Oh, that is so nice. <clears throat> you can kind of see it hangs. You can have the back and the front. Another thing I thought would be kind of cute is to put a picture on the back. And now that I'm looking at this, this is the perfect size to put a picture here. I'm not going to say it on camera because I don't know if this person watches my videos from my real life, but <clears throat> maybe I'm going to put a picture here and I will probably show it on my Instagram in December after I give it to the recipients, but they just got married this year. So I'm going to put a picture of their little wedding of their wedding picture here and they are just beautiful people inside and out and I think that they would like something kind of special and homemade for Christmas. Alrighty, another take on this if you're not interested in making a whole ornament is just using this glimmer plate and having it be the showcase of the card. I went holographic with this one. Look how fun that is. It's got that holographic look to it and I just paired it with a wax seal that simply says Merry Christmas. So here is my take on this month's glimmer plate. The bouquet, the bouquet full of joy. I almost said bouquet. The bouquet. Sounds like a chicken. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments what you think of my two projects. I will have a video tomorrow going up about the large die. And if you've seen it, it is so pretty. So get excited and come on back tomorrow. Bye-bye.